Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start today with business news sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability. The extravagant MSG sphere at the Venetian is one step closer to reality. The Review Journal's Jen Ah gives us the latest on the $1.6 billion project. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Renee. This high-tech entertainment venue isn't scheduled to open until 2023, but is still gaining lots of interest, especially since the building will start to look more spear-shaped in the coming months. Madison Square Garden Entertainment collaborating with the Las Vegas Sands Corporation to build what will be a gigantic three-dimensional puzzle, 17,000 seat venue housing screens that span the size of five football fields. Uh, they're going to add 32 sphere support systems that are gonna be going in uh, that will uh, create the spherical shape of the building itself. And uh, it's one of the heaviest lifts that's ever been accomplished in construction in Las Vegas. For more on this project, head over to our website. Renee. Let's continue with your top stories this morning, sponsored by Carnegie Heights. Another complaint was filed Monday against the Las Vegas-based maker of real water. It's the third lawsuit filed since the FDA announced the investigation of whether the water is linked to acute non-viral hepatitis. Five people have reported that they got sick after drinking real water, including one man who was diagnosed with acute liver failure and had to have a liver transplant. Real Water President Brent Jones is now calling for retailers to pull the product from their shelves. He also said that the company plans to cooperate with the FDA. While visitors and locals are having a good time on the Las Vegas trip this past weekend, the scene was quite different in Miami Beach. Take a look. There, visitors were met with curfews and police firing pepper balls and dispersing crowds. The difference? Experts say one factor is that the casinos on the Las Vegas Strip are owned by companies that take their licenses seriously and don't want problems with regulators. Another factor, those who visit Las Vegas accept the idea that there are rules they will have to follow in order to have a good time. A fire at a downtown Las Vegas condo sent a man to the hospital. The Las Vegas Fire Department responded Tuesday around 7.42 a.m. to the Jewel Complex on East Bonville Avenue and found smoke coming out of the second floor unit. The man living in the condo was taken to a local hospital with second degree burns. The cause is under investigation, but officials say it's possible that careless smoking was to blame. Making ends meet can be tough for college students, even in the best of times. That's why the Assistance League of Las Vegas is giving them a hand. The nonprofit is donating thousands of food and personal hygiene items to Coyote Cupboards Food Pantry at the College of Southern Nevada. The cupboards are set up at each of the CSN's campuses and provide items free of charge to students who need them. This year will mark the 20th anniversary of 9-11, and the Las Vegas Fire Department is helping to remember those who were lost that day. A special Hero One truck will take part in an honor walk ceremony today at 11 a.m. at the Nevada State Veterans Memorial on East Washington Avenue. The mobile exhibit has been put together by the nonprofit Honor 365. The truck is on a tour across the U.S. that will take it to New York in time for the anniversary of the tragedy. Now let's take a look at our local weather, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Conditions will change today as a front kicks up the wind and brings a 20% chance of rain. Mostly sunny skies with a high of near 65 degrees, but very breezy conditions with gusts as high as 33 miles per hour. The winds will continue into the evening, partly cloudy skies with a low around 49 degrees. For the rest of your week, mostly sunny skies and temps creeping back up into the low to mid 70s. Spotty breezy conditions and clear skies for your evenings. We're proud to be providing 7 at 7 to you on YouTube. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button down below. In your health news, sponsored by 4M Dental, Love Your Smile Again, the new U.S. Secretary of Health and Human Services is visiting Nevada today. Javier Becerra is scheduled to tour a health center in Carson City, and he will hold a roundtable with Governor Steve Sisolak on the Affordable Care Act. Becerra, the former Attorney General of California, is the first Latino to head the Department of Health and Human Services. He is traveling as part of the Biden administration's effort to promote its $1.9 trillion COVID-19 relief package. Sports.
sponsored by Scenic Brewing Company. The Golden Knights improved to 13-2 and 1 on home ice Monday night, defeating the St. Louis Blues 5-1 at T-Mobile Arena. Mark Stone scored the go-ahead goal early in the third period, before scoring another goal late to seal the lopsided victory. William Carlson and Keegan Colasar scored in the third period as well, with Colasar's being his first career goal. He, he would have liked to have scored, um, I'm sure, long before this, but I'm, I'm really happy that uh, he got that one and uh, he's very deserving. And uh, I think everybody in the room is really happy. Hey, thanks, Cap. Probably. <laughs> Cassie Soto here with this sports betting update. Denver Nuggets center Nikola Jokic is the new plus 150 favorite at the Westgate Sportsbooks to win the NBA MVP award after Los Angeles Lakers star LeBron James suffered a high ankle sprain Saturday that is expected to sideline him for several weeks. Philadelphia 76er center Joel Embiid, also out after hyperextending his knee Friday, is the 6-1 second choice. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Las Vegas Motor Speedway, we are learning more about the dining options planned for Resorts World, and one promises to take you to the streets of Southeast Asia. Famous Food Street Eats will offer 14 different food stalls. For those looking for a Western flair, the stalls will also include Street Bird Las Vegas, a fried chicken provider from James and Beard award-winning chef Marcus Samuelson. Resorts World is set to open this summer. In your lifestyle news, sponsored by Get Healthy Clark County, we all love our cars in Las Vegas, but there's a luxury home that is in the West Valley where you could take that love to a whole new level. Check out this house in the Ten Oaks community east of Summerlin. Not only does it have an indoor basketball court, but it also has a detachable garage big enough to hold 20 cars. The six-bedroom house is on the market, and the asking price? Five and a half million dollars. The owner is willing to sell it for cryptocurrency. Well, that's all for today's 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. Remember to tell your friends that we're bringing you seven minutes of fresh, nonstop local news at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. weekdays on LVRJ.com and on the RJ mobile app. You can also find us on Roku, YouTube, and so much more. Stay tuned. We hope you'll join us again this evening for 7 at 7 p.m. Thank you for joining us. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.